Hi and welcome to the Syngenta Staffordshire ryegrass site. This year we're having a look at a combination of cultural controls including different seed rates, delaying drilling and then we're also looking at a combination of pre and post emergence chemistry options. Now ryegrass is a growing weed problem in the UK um, and not just here in Staffordshire uh, with growing resistance to ALS and ACCA's contact chemistry we're having to look at other options now to help get on top of this weed um, in the future. Cultural controls are a big part of that and should be the first point of call um, in any case with a combination of looking at delaying drilling, crop competitiveness and then finally looking at utilising chemistry to help get on top of the burden. Just to give you an idea of the background weed pressure we have here, this is a uh, mid-September sown untreated plot giving you an idea of the weed pressure we have in the site here, which is quite phenomenal. So here we are in the winter barley plots. Just for reference, I'm in one of the untreated. And I suppose all we want to show you here is that, you know, chemical options do have a part to play, but that also cultural controls are really important. So if you come across and join me in what we think here has been the best control plot, uh, chemistry wise, what you can see is it's definitely an improvement on the untreated, but clearly this is not the only solution to the problem. And actually you need to be looking at cultural controls and delaying drilling because this is clearly still not a viable commercial crop. Question is, how much of a reduction would you get with delaying drilling? Well, the plot on the left here that you're looking at is mid-September sown wheat. This is the untreated plot and it's got an average of a thousand ryegrass plants per square meter. Compare that with the plot on the right here, drilled four weeks later in mid-October, the average plant count for ryegrass here is 200. So you're getting an 80% reduction in weed pressure just by delaying drilling for four weeks. Now, if we take that further and have a look at the combination of some pre and peri M chemistry, we can get that figure down even further. The plot to, my, to your left here is a combination of Liberator 0.6, Proclus 1.4, and three liters of Defy, all pre-M applied. Compare that with the plot on the right. And what we've done here is staggered the pre and peri -M. So we've got Liberator at 0.6 plus 1.4 of Proclus, and then followed by Defy about 21 days later as a peri -M. Now for plant counts we're going from 20 down to 6. So here we've got an average of just 6 ryegrass plants per square meter and this hopefully demonstrates the combination of using the cultural controls of delaying drilling, increasing the seed rate for the crop competition and then using your chemistry wisely in a pre and peri -M scenario.